United Kingdom Minister for Defence Procurement Jeremy Quinn has confirmed a decision by the United Kingdom. New AH-64E British Apache helicopters will be armed with the United States-made joint air-to-ground missile rather than the Brimstone missile made by MBDA in the United Kingdom. United Kingdom Minister for Defence Procurement Jeremy Quinn said, the United States made joint air-to-ground missile for the new British AH-64E future attack helicopter has been selected. This missile is designed for Apache helicopter use and is already integrated within the aircraft, simulators, and mission planning systems. In addition to joint air-to-ground missile, the Hellfire K-1 and Hellfire Romeo missiles will also be fully qualified and integrated onto the aircraft. The decision prompted round criticism from defence commentators for going against the grain of the government's prosperity agenda and not selecting a United Kingdom-made system. Demarking no reference to the United Kingdom-built MBDA Brimstone that had previously been touted for the role. Current United States figures put the unit cost of a Lockheed Martin made joint air to ground missile at around £250,000 per missile, however, this figure is expected to fall significantly as production is increased, with the aim being a full scale production unit cost close to that of the current AGM 114R Hellfire missile. The cost of Brimstone would also decrease given large enough orders, defense industry analyst and consultant specializing in land warfare Nicholas Drummond said to Army Technology Defense News that it would be unlikely to go below £200,000 per missile. Brimstone is already fitted to the Royal Air Force's Typhoon fighter jets and is set to be integrated onto its new Protector remotely piloted air systems. Brimstone is an advanced air-to-ground radar-guided missile developed by MBDA United Kingdom, for the United Kingdom Royal Air Force. The missile can effectively strike fixed and moving ground-based targets, with height accuracy. Brimstone is a fire-and-forget missile capable of destroying long-range targets with minimal collateral damage. Brimstone has proved to be the weapon of choice with its ability to perform surgical strikes in time-critical missions during day or night. Brimstone is fully integrated onto Tornado GR-4 and is intended for integration on Typhoon and future attack helicopter. The weapon system is also suitable for deployment on a wide range of unmanned aerial vehicles, land and surface platforms. Measuring 1.8 meters in length and 0.18 meters in diameter, the Brimstone missile has a weight of 50 kilograms and can travel at supersonic speeds while carrying a tandem-shaped warhead. The missile can engage a wide range of targets such as battle tanks, armored vehicles and other fast-moving vehicles, bunkers, and naval vessels including fast attack craft. Royal United Services Institute Research Fellow and Editor of Royal United Services Institute Defense Systems Justin Bronk said to Army Technology Defense News, there were arguments for and against the use of either missile, adding that both would be sufficiently capable against Russian main battle tanks for the foreseeable future for the helicopter's core anti-tank role. On the flip side, joint air-to-ground missile offers a more flexible warhead for other targets such as troops in the open, dug-in weapon positions and structures. It is also likely to be cheaper per missile in the long term due to the scale at which the United States will produce the weapon, and offer significant logistics and stockpile resilience advantages in a major war due to commonality with United States forces including the United States Army-owned AH-64E units in theater.
Justin Bronk added that Brimstone currently has an edge against joint air-to-ground missile when it comes to the engaging of main battle tanks and that the missile offered benefits from Anglo-French industrial engagement and commonality with the Royal Air Force. Brimstone is already fitted to the Royal Air Force's Typhoon fighter jets and is set to be integrated onto its new Protector remotely piloted air systems. Despite the benefits of using joint air-to-ground missile from a cost perspective, defense industry analyst and consultant specializing in land warfare Nicholas Drummond said to Army Technology Defense News, it made no sense for the United Kingdom not to integrate the Brimstone missile onto Apache, adding that this process would cost an estimated £70 million. As Brimstone is more effective at engaging armoured targets and joint air-to-ground missile more cost-efficient for engaging non-armoured targets, Drummond added that it would have been beneficial to have the flexibility and potential of using both weapon types. Joint air-to-ground missile is set to be used widely by the United States Army and United States Marine Corps, and its adoption ensures interoperability with US forces moving forward. Drummond added that part of the logic behind using joint air-to-ground missile was the belief that in a major conflict the United States would provide the United Kingdom with significant stocks of missiles. In a high-intensity conflict scenario, it assumed that the British Army 1st Aviation Brigade would be firing around 768 missiles a night. Despite the belief that the United States would supply the United Kingdom with sufficient stocks, Drummond added that the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic had shown that if a country does not have the domestic capability to manufacture key products, in an emergency scenario it would be at the back of the queue to buy what it needs. Drummond concluded, we absolutely must retain an ability to manufacture missiles locally. So we seem to have made a bad strategic decision for an important capability when it delivers very limited savings. It's like not saving money on the Challenger 3 program by not buying one of the 120mm ammunition natures.